Welcome back to another episode of Mets Weekly, everyone. This is the second episode of the series, and if you don't know what it is, I basically go through everything the Mets have done the week prior to the episode. So, let's get right into it. The first topic of the week we will talk about is the retirement of a former Met, Darren O'Day. Through his long 14-year career, he had a very good 17.4 war and a career 2.59 ERA. While he only pitched three innings for the Mets, he had a great career in baseball, and it should be celebrated. The next topic of today's video will be the Mets minor league depth signing of DJ Stewart. The Mets will be the second organization of his career. While he has not had the best time in the majors, Stewart has shown flashes of a very solid bat. Stewart fits nicely as to what the Mets' mindset of hitting is. Get on base and make good things happen at the plate. If you guys didn't know, DJ Stewart is an outfielder. So apparently the Carlos Correa physical was not the only problem the Mets had with a physical this offseason. They were also initially skeptical with Kodai Senga's physical. Fortunately, they were able to get a deal done, unlike their contract with Correa, but it leaves me wondering what the Mets would have done without Senga. In other news, the Mets at no point this offseason were actually pursuing a full-time DH bat. They feel confident that Daniel Vogelback and Darren Ruff can be good enough at the start of the season to lock down the DH role. They also have backup options of Francisco Alvarez and Mark Vientos if the first two have down seasons. 1-0 pitch and a fly ball to right. Acuna going back. He's at the wall and that is gone. Brett Beatty just homered in his first big league at bat. Curveball drilled to deep left center field. Headed back toward the wall. And it's out of here. Francisco Alvarez his first big league hit. Speaking of Mets prospects, two of them are actually hard at work in St. Lucie. Francisco Alvarez and Brett Beatty both got to spring training about a month early to work on defense. With Eduardo Escobar representing his country in the World Baseball Classic, Brett Beatty is set to get most of the playing time at third during spring training. Over the offseason, Beatty has been working with three-time Gold Glove winner Troy Tulowitzki and t current Toronto Blue Jays third baseman, possibly the best in baseball, Matt Chapman. Beatty has been learning a lot from both these guys, and his defense has gotten a lot better this offseason. When it comes to Francisco Alvarez, he is supposed to be the catcher of the future for the Mets, and he has recently been voted the third best prospect in baseball by MLB.com. He is also at spring training early to get more reps. Now we have to talk about Matt Allen. Unfortunately, Matt Allen has to get UCL reconstructive surgery. That will put him out for the entire 2023 season and some of 2024. I don't know how this will impact his pitching, but only time will tell if he will be the same or different. With that, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.